All right, bet. Let's lock in, chat. Dojo DMs. Hey, with three eyes. Are you a woman? That's feminine, bro. First of all, as a man, stop saying hi. Men don't say hi. You can't sound tough and say hi. It's just men don't say hi, bro. You can say hey. You can say what's up. You can say top of the morning. I don't give a fuck what you say. Just don't say hi. I got five hundred dollars for a nigga that can make hi sound tough, bro. It just don't sound like a man, bro. You just can't say hi. You have to say hey. How are you? What's up? You can't say hi, bro. Hey, hey. What's up? My name is Blank. I go by Alex. Just so you know, how do you pronounce your name? Yeah, did ya? Yeah, did ya? What? Who are you talking to? I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. I, mean, I would've told this in a voice message, cause I can't really. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So just so you know, I'm not really a texter. I don't wanna bore each other. No, no, no. Don't tell, you can tell a woman I'm not a texter. Do not say, I don't wanna bore each other. Cause it's, my text messages are not boring. I just don't like to text. Don't say that, bro. You just already made yourself boring. And then, I don't know if this girl go to your school or whatever, but when you say we should get to know each other IRL, first of all, please stop saying IRL. That's some internet shit. Number two, you already pressing for the link. She ain't give you the number yet. You don't even have a phone number. What makes you think she would want you to pop up to her crib or be around her in real life, bro? And then you said got ghosted. I wonder why. I wonder why. Is anybody surprised that he got ghosted? I'm not. Relax. You 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 literally had it. You had it. All this was cool. Then you said I don't want to bore each other, and then you said we should get to know each other, and you just DM'd her. Why well, you're definitely a lot buffer now. Uh, look, like like all these niggas can get pussy, bro. But how many chicks? How many chicks, bro? Filling up their fridge, rubbing their feet, buying them nice things, treating them like she actually care about him. You can't, you don't, you don't buy these things. This is when a woman really respects you, genuinely respects you, values you as a man, bro. Come on, brother. Puerto Rican and Jamaican, this is a dangerous combo. I'm not gonna lie to you, brother. Uh, while you're definitely a lot buffer now. She on your dick. Well, I like, I look better with the shirt off, I bet. Let me go find out for, for a cap. How's that cap? You would do nothing, you wouldn't do nothing like that. You're innocent. Oh, uh, we haven't spoken in a while, so you wouldn't know. Really not long ago, you said you would wait for the right person. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! Wow, wow, wow. Oh. <laughs> Who let him cook? When the fuck did I say that? On Snap, when I posted a bit of me twerking. She Jamaican, bro. They all come with the ability to dance. Like, that's literally like a cultural thing. Twerking not even like crazy to them. Like, that's just literally everybody does it. Um, You swiped up. Ooh. I don't recall saying that, but if I did, I was capping. Oh, wow. So what I don't, what don't I know? Bro, if you don't just go ahead and get this out the way. Why are we playing? Do you remember if you said it or not? Why are we playing this? I'm getting, I'm like, you, 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 this wasting time is this close to selling. Y'all just don't know it. Like, wasting shots is, like, this close to selling. Depending on how much she like you, bro, she gonna let you get away with some bullshit. But Jesus Christ, bro, what are we, what, what's about to happen? So, uh, I don't know. Not, that's nothing you gotta worry about. You could just find out yourself. Where is it? 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 This shit was just in the Reddit, wasn't it? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. F. F plus, actually. Low effort. Overused. Overplayed. Spammed. Boring, dry, and mundane. I expect it better. I expect better. Oh, I'm sure. I don't even know if you like like come on, bro. Come on. I'm gonna I'm give you I'm gonna give you some help because y'all said it helps better when I tell y'all what I would say. Me personally, put me in this position. Game on the line, right? I'm you. I just spawned in your fucking body, and I had to pick it up from her saying. So what don't I know? I'm sending my number, and I'm saying, text that 
if, if text that and see what you find out. Or text that and see like maybe I'm gonna say something like that. I don't know what y'all rapport is. You might have could have sent a voice message. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know how y'all done been getting freaky beforehand. Cause I ain't gonna lie, me even saying me even saying I would send my number and say text that if you will find out. That's like a, a that's like a safe thing to do to me. But if you got some rapport, like y'all already done flirted before, you already might have like been with her in school. I don't know how you know her work or school. So y'all got like some kind of history of flirting. And let's say y'all kissed before, or y'all might have been like physically comfortable or something like that. You might be able to hit her with something like. Well, we, we could start with the stuff, I, with the things I've been wanting to do to you. Or, or we could start with the stuff that's on my mind. Or whatever, now you're teasing, now you're alluring it into that. What's been on your mind? <laughs> now, now she asking a question, now she, uh, uh. And you reeling it in. <clears throat> Playing with the food, bro. Whole time is getting oiled up, bro. The more the, the more it just wait, bro. Now chat, is the ads running or is that person lying? Let me know. Anytime somebody say ads at the wrong time, you are getting timed out, bro. So is did the ads really run or is he lie? Lie cap timed out, bro. Get him out of here. Cause you fuck up my whole flow when you do that. Um anyway. You funking me up, man. I, I could tell you, I could show you better than I could tell you. True. Like, come on, bro. Why do y'all think women read care or care about books like Fifty Shades of Grey or these like novels where they read and, and read these stories and it'd be like these horny ass description, these wet pads and these journals and why do y'all think they care? They love a good plot, bro. They love a good, they love some plot, bro. They love a nigga that can chat, bro. That, right, paint a picture. You painting a stick figure or the or, or or fucking Mona Lisa? You know my guy Steve. Oh, I love that metaphor. Paint the picture for her, man. A, you know what the difference is? The details. A stick figure is just a fucking circle in like five lines: the body, the legs, and then the arms. And the difference is, you know what a real painting has? Man, I can look at that painting. I, I I look at the angle of the sunlight. That shit beaming across the water. The shadow of the tree is going that way because the sunlight is coming. From, I'm just saying, bro. And it makes a difference. Cause it's, it's type shit. Yeah, you physically, yeah, you physically can pleasure her. You are, you drop the dick off. You, you get, you got, boom, you get her down. You got good dick or something like, you know, whatever, right? But my God, it's the difference between good dick and great sex. It's a huge difference. Come on now. Um, When you try, now we got the when it, when you trying to let me come see you. This is like the type of nigga, I, th I think you're carried by your looks, bro. It's clearly no mouthpiece evidence, but we gonna get that straight, bro. I got you, bro. Any Saturday you oh, can. This week, Saturday. Oh, no, I need to scroll to the right, I need it. That's far too. Then where the fuck do you be going to hang out with people? Hang out? Hang out? Hanging, hang out? She she basically asking you to crush her, and we, we talking about hanging out. Why would we even use this word? Oh my god, you about to turn a a, a a two point you about to turn a two point conversion into a fucking missed field goal. Dude, where the fuck are you going? Blink's far from me too. Man, tell that hoe if you want to be here, you gonna get here. What the fuck, she talking about that's far. Come on, man. You don't, like, if you don't drive, it's, it's cool, bro. It's cool, bro. But all I'm saying is do your homework on if she want to be there, she going to get here. Oh, damn. That's blank, blank, blank. But that's like close to the spot under my house. So just go to the grad. Where you stay, I can probably slide your grid. Oh, and blank just further down. I'll explain it. Let me get the idea. I just want to see as I got far. You live 21 minutes from me. Damn. I can try to make that drive. Fuck, I keep doing the wrong thing. Okay, chat's getting spicy. What y'all predict? A fumble or, or, or are you going to hit this? He going to hit the shot. Um, on some more and just further down, not explain it. Uh, whatever. Are your parents gonna let me slide to your crib? Yeah, my parents not home Saturday.
She not trying to hang out, brother. She trying to get hung out. You don't got to whip. No power by blank. Let me see. Like, how are you just wasting time trying to figure out the location, bro? Hit. Oh, my God. I don't even know. Ted, we don't even have a... We, the the storyline is unfinished. We don't even know what happened. Waste. Most shot clock wasted I've ever seen in my life. Man, you should have bought a fourth or fifth screenshot. You should have had her playing with that pussy, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I, I'm I'm just going back to I'm going truly to who I am as a person, bro. I gotta keep it a beam, bro. By that fourth fifth screenshot, she should have been playing with that pussy, bro. For sure. By that fourth fifth screenshot, she should have been saying she should have been saying, uh, "Hurry up and come over already." You making me want you to come over tonight? By that fourth fifth screenshot, why are we still talking about where we're linking, bro? I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't care, bro. I'm, it's Twitch after hours. We go in there, bro. We never ended up linking, and she made an excuse saying it was her grandmom's B day. Need advice? Anything I could have done better? Oh, y'all never linked. I don't know how you don't link this, bro. How do you not link this? This week, Saturday. In my opinion, bro, I'm looking at this, and I'm saying to her, it just never seemed firm. Like, your answer never seemed firm. It never was a clear answer. Are you going to go to her? Is she going to go to you? Are you going to pick her up? If you don't have a car, we are going to LinkedIn. There's no clarity. So, all you said was Saturday. Saturday, where, where, when, and what? Doing what? Like I said, met her on the bus the day before. Not sure how to move. Some tough joint I bagged while getting food at her job. Combo flow well in person and got the number easily. And she would with me, follow my grandma, and liked all my posts and stories. And all of a sudden, switched up and been dry. Oh my god, we're about to watch a 50 point lead go bad. <sighs> this is the first human being I've ever seen with UC Wi Fi. What does that mean? UC. That shit gotta be undercover because no straight man takes it, a woman who bagged her while getting food at her job, convo flowed well in person, got the number easily, she was fucking with you, followed you on the Garam. I know you meant G R A M. And liked all your posts, your stories, and then switch up. I don't know how we about to turn this from 50 to zero, but. Yo, I'm from Cookout. Okay. Wish your grandmama follow you on there too. First thing is we redirected into Instagram. Why? Gotcha. Hit me when you get off work. Gotcha. Good morning. She already getting a good morning text. I make this as a joke, but I'm like, this is not a joke. I'm not texting a woman who I barely know good morning, bro. She could be a fucking murderer for like I don't want her to have a good morning. Why am I? Why am I telling her good morning? You become the good morning ass nigga, bro. You know what probably fucked her up in real life? You gave her, oh, he could blow my back out energy. In text messages, you give her Lord Farquaad. So this is what I could, I just know what happened, bro. What you on today? Just working. How about you? Getting a cut? How long you been working there? I don't like this as a follow up. I don't like this as a follow up. I'm gonna pick you up from work. Would have been good. What time you get off? I'm gonna pick you up. Like, that would have been strong. I don't know if she would have went for it, but that would have been a better follow up than how long you've been working there. Let's keep going. Um, This is the only screenshot. Oh, never mind. Uh, uh, some mumps. You see how you, you brought her up her job and she got like mad, bro. Frustrated, annoyed. You don't fuck with it? Nah, it's slick, cool. Oh, what time you get off today? Just got off. Who you feeling like? Something slight her. Well, I'm not your close friends, though. I plan on seeing more of you. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! This, this fumble is so bad. You know what makes it worse? You didn't even fumble because she, like, didn't like you. You fumbled because you wasted time with the shot. Begging to be in the close friends, you met her in person? I mean, make this make, somebody explain this to me. 
if I can have her in my face in real life, why do I want to be in the close friends? I'm biased here too, chat. I don't care about nudes. I love it when a woman blow my phone up and send me stuff like that. Cool. I love it. And, when, and honestly, when they fuck with you, they want to show you those things anyway. So I, I never even had to brag or ask for nudes. I don't have to beg for it because they're going to send them when they really fuck with you. Right? And you turn them on and stuff like that. Y'all talking. They, they do it anyway. My point is, why am I pressing for the close? Why am I pressing for news when she can be in my face in real life? Why do I care? You seem corny now. Why am I your close? Like that's that that's where my hug at energy, bro. And that's feminine. Somebody just said in the chat, you text like a woman. That's feminine, bro. For your future, because I, I, I want to leave everybody with something, bro. They could go forward with, and improve it. Have some direction, bro. That's why I noticed with a lot of these messages. There's no direction. There's no I'ma call you. There's no setting up of any future link. There's no uh, any way you're letting her get to know you. There's no chemistry being built. There's none of the evidence there at all. There's, there's nothing. It's just what you doing, where you work, what your school is. Tell me what I could have done better. I got you, bro. Still taking pictures at other schools. I went homecoming there. Could have went to Burke's, but you chose the Indians. Burke's, Burke owned was dead. I don't want to go to a boring homecoming. I say it depends on who you're with. Because I went to Burke's and at first I felt lame as fuck because none of my homies pulled up. But once I snuck into a group and let go, the entire night was amazing. You're right. But if the DJ ain't playing... Okay, we don't need to see this. What you interested in? I know you love watching old people die, but I want to... No, I like take care of my I like playing volleyball. Tell, tell me something about you. I take my time during the week without my phone to go out and think through everything that's happened with like my brother in Christ. Oh, I see. Do you take time without your phone once a week or is this your first time? Started it without in the past month. Okay. One time I had went one time I went with just my bestie and we had a whole big circle when we started dancing. That's funny because I started the big first blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. No pressure where you work, so I know not to pull up. Why would you pull up to a retirement home, blah, 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 to see you? I'll be working at night, can't do that. My schedule free at the school, blah, blah, blah. Monday, blah, blah, blah. Monday, I go, blah, blah, blah. My main time I'll be free is when I leave school to go to sleep, not going to lie. You have to make time then. Because I'm free for an hour on Wednesdays at the practice, but I'll be sweaty. What in the high school? Can we get some grown folk, man? <laughs> Can we get some grown folk, man? Mm, another thing, I got strict parents. What they got to do with me and you? They ain't want me meeting up with nobody unless they know them, especially dudes. Didn't introduce me. I ain't scared. Okay. You're a dude. I ain't even supposed to be talking to dudes. My parents didn't even know I dated my ex. You see she did what she wanted to do anyway? You see this? You see how she just told on herself? What do I keep telling y'all? No means no, but excuses can be satisfied. She want to, she will, man. Then don't tell them. Make it our thing. I wasn't planning on telling them, but it's hard to plan stuff. They don't trust me. I wonder why. Uh. Oh, you sent the same screenshot twice. This she said, "Cause my mom. Why? Cause my mom knows I lost my virginity. Like, no comment, bro. Tell me what you could have done better." Um, on, on some grown man game, bro, you could give us some real game on how to move. Like all that sneaky shit, to me, childish. Even though you in high school, childish. Like, like childish, bro. For real, for I'm going to tell you what I used to do when I, when I had a chick and she had strict parents or shit like that. I used to go to the movies, bro. You in high school, you probably ain't got a lot of money. We'll go to the movies. You you don't even have to care about the movie. People talk about that being a boring date. Nigga, I'm not going to the movies to have a conversation. I'm going to the movies because that's a cheap hotel. Now, it is what it is. I did what I did. You can go in there, kiss. Whatever you do is on you. I'm not going to say nothing else. But you can, do, you can go in there and do what you want to do. <laughs> but let the conversation be done over the phone and all that kind of shit. So that when y'all link in person... You already know what it is. Movies nowadays, $30? Come on, bro. That's, that's, that's better than, oh, my parents, this and this and that and all that bullshit. 
And it gets around all that other shit. Well, I finally got the card after three days of town. I get there pretty thur. I get thur pretty easy. I just walk, get through quick. You got this cold sound evil like a final villain. Maybe we can call later. You you tell me how you survive in COVID-23. What did I just read in the first three messages? Oh, that's great. Glad everything worked out. LOL. No, it's me. It's my fault. My body messed up because I don't eat properly. Later as in tonight, I'm about to sleep. Hey, you know, if you if you had just caught her when you sent this, she wouldn't have been going to sleep yet. Why? Did, I don't get why y'all do this. Why do y'all, what's the point of scheduling a call? Even, I'm telling you, this might be women that watch this and be like, don't call me. Like, I don't want to do that. Until she's enjoying that conversation and now her whole mind has changed. Now, now it went from, I don't really, I never really like being on the phone. Like, don't call me unexpected, blah, 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 blah. But remember, every rule a woman say, that should go out the window for the guy that they like. Remember that, bro. Every time you hear all these requirements, six foot three, six figures, three dates, six months. Don't hate the player, man, hate the game. Well, I finally got, whatever this is, bro. What did, what did you, another one I've been talking to her for three days now. What did you want us to see here, bro? Oh, oh basically you got out of that what I told you though. Like, stop scheduling these calls, bro. Just at anything she don't answer, she don't answer, bro. And then at that point, you could just let her know I wanted to talk to you. I prefer to be on the phone. Now she know. She could either move to your game or you get let on how she gonna lead you on. And y'all keep wasting time like that and let me know how that worked for y'all. For the record, we're still gonna have to get to the bottom of where them dresses came from. Just saying, what, you asking for her dresses? Are you a fat? Are you a fashion a fashionista or something, bro? It's a trace. Y'all going? Y'all, I know what y'all gonna think I was about to say, bro. Chat, but I was not about to say that, bro. I was not about to say that, bro. <laughs> I know how that just seemed, bro. I, I know how that just seemed, bro. I was gonna say something else, bro. That's funny though. It's a trade secret. I can't tell you. Can't tell me yet. Eventually, it's gonna be our secret soon enough. We just gotta make sure to right. <laughs> we gotta be our secret soon enough. We just gotta make sure the right information gets into the right hands. Um. I right, so I met this girl at an event. I was working. She sent me her number on a professional vibe, so she ain't know my intentions. Pulled up to drop her to drop something off. She forgot and decided to shoot my shot. Scored. Then she said I could hit her up. I think I was too aggro in this one. When you added this second sentence, it made me think of the Joker from Batman, bro. You do, you overdid it. You didn't, you didn't even have to say "can't tell me yet." All you had to say was eventually it's gonna be our secret soon enough, or, or, and then she might have said something like "why is that?" or "what makes you think that?" or I, I don't know. But you didn't have to overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Less is more. Start, start. This is another thing too. Start trusting your first thought, chat. Start trusting it, bro. Don't sit there five, six, ten times. You done retype the message, bro. Start trusting your first thought, bro. Please. How you doing, Blink? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. You know we ain't got class today. Yeah, I just got the email. I got You got something planned or you leave it free for me? See? It's a question, but it's really not a question. It's a self alley -oop. Do y'all see this shit, chat? Do y'all see this shit, chat? It was a question, but it really was a setup. I've got nothing planned. I'm gonna beat it around 12, I'll let you know. That's it. That's it. What more, what more do you need to see, chat? Now I can already see what this is. This a chick he go to college with or something like that. I feel like when I don't say too much in text and just do this, I get better results. Didn't I just say less is more? Yo, I literally get an example right in the next screenshot. That's Divine Timing, chat. That's Divine Timing. Oh, it's another one. Meet me at the food court. All right, give me five minutes. Do you mean the one at University Hall or the one by dorms? Campus Center. Okay, see you then. 
Because at the end of the day, when I think when I break shit down, I make y'all overthink it. It, it don't take a lot. Like, it, it's, it's just literally not complicated, bro. Your confidence, when you start being riskier and start being able to accept rejection, and you start having a higher self-esteem, everything you say, everything you come up with to, with to say is going to be smoother. It's going to sound better. You're not going to figure out how to say some smooth shit because the source, the source of your script is a weak foundation. Meanwhile, if my foundation is a high self-esteem, it's hard for me to say some weak shit because my source is coming from a strong foundation. You got to get calluses, bro. You got to get calluses. Like when you lift weights and your hands get stronger, you got to get calluses on your confidence. Start just approaching a lot of women, texting a lot of women, get your experience up there. Start, you start dealing with that shit and eventually you work through it. Come on, bro. Blank forgot to tell you my name. Blank, how did you know I even know who I was? I recognize you from somewhere, but I don't know where. Are you involved with any after school stuff? That's weird. No, I'm not. Then what do you usually do after school? I go to the gym every day after school. And you? Well, we should add blank to your plans. Before I even see what comes next, this is a clean, easy opportunity to propose something. Clean. Recently, I've been conditioned for basketball season. Who do you work on at the gym? What do you work on at the gym? I hate this shot. This is the worst shot I've ever seen in my life. Oh, nice. What's basketball season? I try to have a balanced routine, so it starts mid-November for us. You didn't even tell her to come to your game? Where the, where the athletes, bro? Where the athletes? I never used athlete ribs, bro. But I feel like it's just an obvious one to just go... Come to my, like, I better see you at the game or something like that. Like, in any athletes, bro, I, I feel like I, if I was an athlete, bro, and I'm talking about my basketball season, I, I'm still initiating something somewhere. Like, I'd be like, you trying to be my cheerleader? Or whatever, however you throw that shit, bro. Like, this is a layup right there. Literally, no pun intended. Are you going to homecoming? I don't think so. I have no one to go with. You see, she said, I did. She didn't say, I don't want to go. This is like the easiest off the backboard ever, bro. She didn't say, I'm telling you, words matter, chat. She didn't say, I don't want to go. She didn't say, I can't go. She said, I have no one to go with. How, how much obvious does it get? What did he say? Why not? There's no simps lining up to take you. So now when you take her or you tell her to come with you, you're the simp. I'm, oh my God, chat. Do y'all even want to know what I would say here? Bro, all you have to say is come with me. Or we going together. We, we will look good together. Man, we a fuck home coming up. It's obvious who you should go with. Oh, is it? <laughs> Come on, man. Like, this is, this ain't even, like, difficult layups, bro. You playing the... the like, this is like... The, we, if this is skill-based matchmaking, we're, so we're in bronze. <laughs> and then the Jinxie say, so, okay, so we're in copper. <laughs> wow, so we're, we're, we're in paper plate three. <laughs> this ain't even... This ain't even no type of ringing. We're in paper plate three. This is... Lobby's on easy. You playing bots. Recently, I've... Like, okay, where we at? Where we at? You sent the same screenshot twice. No, of course not. I have no reason to do that. Why you skip one? I hate when y'all niggas do this. Y'all be trying to be sneaky, man. You skip the whole screenshot. That's tough. I'm going for the experience I've never gone before. I just said it. Yes, I want to go. She literally says she wants to go. Let's go back two screenshots. Are you going to homecoming? I don't think so. I have no one to go with. The next screenshot. That's tough. I'm, you, you, so the first thing you said was something about being a simp and having a taker. And then the next thing you say is, I'm going for experience I've never gone before. I want to go, but I think I'll go my senior year. You know, some of y'all do deal with like some difficult situations, bro. 
But I don't understand how you just fucked this up. We've been watching nothing but easy fumbles today. We've been watching nothing but high interest fumbles. Why is that today's like concept? Why is that today's concept, bro? How much easier does it need to get? How much easier could it get, chat? Next time, make it 20, but thank you for that 10. I know you barely had that. Chat desk DMs when you can gang. All right, bet, 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 bet. Bro, how much easier could it get, man? She th threw the ball at your chest. Hopefully by then y'all we, can wear shoes in the gym. Oh my God. Y'all wanna know the, what's so funny, chat? I'll be telling y'all, bro. It's the difference between bad game and no game. No game is coachable. Like no game is like, you just don't know what to do. You have no experience, you coachable. This is bad game. Bad game is, is the worst. This is the worst. Because not only do you not take advantage of the obvious opportunities, you ruin them and make them worse. You're, you, not only did you just change the subject, let's just compare the two split. Chat, let's, let's go back. Let's, let's, let's put it like this. Y'all you know, you ever had a video game? There's a split, there's, y'all know them video games that give y'all two choices? That set you on two different paths? Like one video game where you, where you save this character and then the other video game where you let them die. This, this, let's look at a split path here. You got path number one. Him saying, why not? There's no simps, blah, blah, blah. And then you got, um, hopefully y'all can wear shoes in the gym. Ha, 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 what do you mean? Wait, seriously, what kind of shoes do you wear? And then we're talking about shoes and socks, right? And dogs, right? That's path number one. Path number two, right? Come with me. Or we, look, we will look good together. Let's go. Or, or we should go together. Or I want you to go with me. Any way you word that shit, I don't give a fuck. You can word it a hundred ways. You can word it a million ways. Path number two, she's excited, nervous, blushing. You might even crush at the home. You might, bro. I told you, I'm gonna start giving y'all more of me, bro. I know I, I, know I, I kind of be like private and like laid back with shit. But I can't, it, my life is my life. My past is my past, bro. I don't even know some of the shit I did at homecoming. <laughs> Movie theaters, homecoming. Nature outside. What? Go-kart, I ain't never took no bitch go-kart racing, bro. I'm starting to be more like openly authentic with this content shit, bro. I'm gonna let it all. I'm gonna let it spill, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it spill, man. Let me cook. Let me cook, man. Let's let it spill, man. Getting freaking a go kart is crazy. Go kart day is crazy, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. I don't give a fuck. We going there, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. Nigga, bro. I, w I, w I was at homecoming, playing with me under the table, bro. At a round table. I ain't got no shame, bro. At the end of the day, my past is my past. Life is life, bro. So I'm really going there, bro. I'm really going there. I kind of censored something I was going to show earlier. I'm not going to ever take it too far. I don't want to do that. It's just not that deep. But let me just give you the real identity of the, of the split path, bro. You got, you got a really split path with this life shit. And this nigga chose talking about shoes and socks and, oh yeah, you wear the gym. And the other path could have been Dog, you could have gave her a lifetime memory, bro. Y'all always talk about, oh, the, her first love and all this bullshit, nigga. Talk about the memory building moments, bro. Man, the guy that took her to homecoming, she had the most fun in her life. She was dancing, enjoying herself. It ain't even about the playing with pussy, bro. It ain't even about sex, bro. It's about these memories, this, this experience, the experience she having with you. She'll look back on that experience and then be like, man, I love spending time with him. That's the ultimate W you could have with a woman, is when she loves spending time with you, bro. Y'all always think it's the sex, it's spending money, it's all that. It's the experience. And okay, dudes who have a lot of money, they use their money to make a good experience, like going to a fancy, a fancy restaurant, like uh, doing on a helicopter or a yacht or some shit like that. That's, that's, she wants the experience. If it, she would take the cash in the hand if it was just about the money. 
It's the experience that she's getting. You can you don't have to spend money for all that, bruh. It's how she feels. We talking about what, what what does she feel? Pop quiz. What is she feeling from this conversation, chat? This is this is storyline number one he chose. Hopefully y'all can wear gyms and shoes in the gym. Ha ha ha. Laughing emoji. Burke doesn't let people wear shoes. Ha ha ha. What? Seriously? What kind of like what does she feel? What if she feels anything? Bored. <laughs> Bored. Texting you a whole four days later at this, September 9th to the 12th. <laughs> oh my god. Now, we take plot number two. Him him changing the storyline right here. With him saying, I think we will look the I, I want I want you to come with me. We will look good together. Now what does she feel from that? Her her heart racing. What do you do y'all make women nervous, bro? You make a woman nervous, bro. That's a really good thing. Not uncomfortable, but nervous. She could be comfortable and nervous at the same. She antsy. She don't know what you're going to do next. She don't know what to expect. She she like her anxiety is like it's like it's, it's it's the sexual tension, like what she want to happen and and what she don't know is if something going to happen. She just all over the place. That's the best place for a woman. The thrill, that excitement. This is why women be saying that sexual tension be better than actual sex because then when they have sex with the, with some men, it be disappointing. Don't believe me. Talk and ask women. Because I know y'all y'all in the friend zone with thousands of women. Go ask them. Am I right or wrong? Clip that shit, show a woman, and be like, is he right or wrong? I bet you I get it 110% every time. They say, man, that nigga spitting. I know what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. She don't feel nothing from this. I don't even want to finish these screenshots, bro. What do you even say after this? Like, what are y'all chatting about? Didn't say my name at the top. I thought you had blocked me or something because after I texted you, I couldn't see our chat anymore. I didn't block you. I had things to do and couldn't respond. We're talking about nothing. We're, we're still not in. She's nervous. Y'all flirting. Y'all progressing. We're just chatting about nothing going nowhere soon. Look at her texting. Who said we're going to link? I did. You can't link if the other person doesn't want to. And somehow we ended with this. What's good? Yo, what's up? Nothing chilling downtime. You still end up texting. Oh, this is before. Why did the screenshot send backwards? You sent them way out of order, bro. It was long. Did you need my name again? Yeah, unless you're cool with Dawn. It's K. Oh, oh wow. That's, that's a coincidence. Why don't you take AP Gov? That's pretty gay. Not gonna lie. I'm done. We could have been giving her butterflies. We talking about we talking about AP government being gay? What does that have to do with anything? What does that have to do with anything? How do how do y'all do this? I I'm the internet is a learning experience for me. I didn't even know y'all talk up to women about shit like this. That's crazy. Timing is everything. Knowing when to act, when to back off, and when to move in for the kill is essential for successful seduction. Robert Green. <sighs> Man, he should have left her alone. How you ain't see this obvious layup, but like she literally told you, I want to go. I have no one to go with. And you end up talking about gems. So I've never seen a worse. I've never seen that. Y'all get me every time, man. Hey, it's me, Zeta. What's up? How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm just trying to survive the chaos of it. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. The chaos of existence. I'm I'm actually surprised she even texted you back. I'm I'm surprised you didn't get left on scene. Alicia, Alicia, with me in spirit. Let's escape the classroom and make some memories together. I pray to God y'all don't have no mutual friends, no mutual classes. Transfer schools if y'all go to school together, bro. If this hits the group chat, you are done. You are done. What did I do wrong? What do you think, John? What do you think? Everything. Just throw the whole playbook away. That's what you did wrong. Everything. Me and her already linked, but I need some pointers on how I possibly move forward from here. What, what can I do better? 
No wait, so Friday or da 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 question mark. Do you think that her phone broke? Do you think she didn't see this notification? Do you think what did, what did you think happened here that you sent the extra question mark? You shouldn't have sent it, is my point. Stop. Why wow. no double texting, bro? The only way you could double text if it's the message look like this. Like it's a continuation. Like she could have put this in one sentence, obviously, but she just sent them separately. This is a double text. This don't count as a double text. This right here, like a day later, a lot hours later, or shit like that. This ain't a whole day later. September 27th. Sunday was the first of October. I don't I'm not doing this math in my head. September 27th was Wednesday. This was Oh, okay, this was the next day. Why does it say Thursday? It should have just... I don't know why I don't just say September 28th. All right, anyway, that, that was a whole day later, though. So jealous I'm stuck in the rain. Tough. It started raining over here earlier. You, you can come next time? Maybe? I like to give y'all basic things to say that apply pressure. I'm not trying to overkill y'all with shit that y'all might not have the confidence to, to wear correctly. So basically... So basic. I'll bring you next time. Read the fucking room. Come on, man. <laughs> we going plant shopping this weekend. My balcony looks empty. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be there like 8 p.m. No, wait. Tomorrow is too ear. So Friday or blank. So that's, I guess that's when you double text it. She said, oh, so these are older screenshots. Back in New York, crazy week. Instead of then, we're coming over on one Thursday night. Waiting to hear from BB now. All right, just let me know. Double text again. She sends you a meme. We going blah, blah, blah. See you tomorrow. No, wait. Tomorrow's too rare. Oh, my God. Left on scene. We already linked. I don't know, bro. I don't, I, don't, I don't deal with situations where after I link a girl, we just fall off after that. Like, usually, if you... She like how y'all text and y'all got good chemistry and then y'all link. Even if y'all don't do anything. It ain't about, oh, yeah, you the first thing you don't need to be horny bro you don't need to be doing all that extra shit your goal is to make her comfortable allow her to become comfortable allow her to enjoy to enjoy spending time with you she'll go home reflect on her day and say hmm i really like that i want more of that that's the bottom line bro and eventually when she keeps wanting more of that which might not even take long you could literally crush the first link off a good vibe but i'm just it's not all about that i'm just saying Eventually, she'll be like, she'll start getting comfortable with you. Her own mind will want to do things. You ain't got to convince her to do nothing. Now, how do y'all do this? To me, if you link her or you already, she already wanted to see you enough to where y'all spent time together in person after texting, bro. In my opinion, I just think that maybe in person you, you, you either, like your conversation wasn't there the, like she got she got in person with you and was like uh you just didn't follow up i can't say too horny because i feel like if you was too horny and you made her uncomfortable then she would have stopped texting you entirely i just think that when she linked you she just didn't get the spark that she was looking for and maybe that's because you was trying to be shy or maybe that's because you was holding back or maybe that's because you wasn't really talking to her you might have been scrolling on your phone like can you genuinely sit there and have a conversation with a person and do nothing. People are always talking about they want to go on dates and do an activity or something. What happens when you have an ISO? You're in isolation. There's no TV show playing. There's no music blasting on 30. What will you be put on an island to talk? How will you steer the conversation? I think that when you met her in person, it probably was just like some dead silence like this. So, hey, how's the weather? And you No, know, shit like that. Start developing your combo, bro. Start talking to strangers, real shit. Start talking to strangers. Start seeing how natural conversations can spin and get deeper. Talk to people at the bus stop, on the way to work, at work. Speaking to your friends, checking on your grandparents. Start just getting better at conversations, bro. Uh, yo, what's good? I'll be able to come over tomorrow. Mm, my mom's going to be here. All right, happy birthday. Thank you, Blank. You going somewhere today? Was, but probably not anymore. You know what you mean when you ask this question? Now, let's read between the lines. Shay. You know what this question really means? 
from him. What he really meant was to say this. All right, you down to go to a movie theater later? Later and later at night, but where people don't, ain't be going at. Ain't be going at. What are you trying to say? Right, that's really his translation is, I want to spend time with you. I want to see you. I want to link, whatever. That's his, that's the kind. But y'all always lead it with this bullshit ass question when y'all know that's not your point. Meanwhile, if you just would have said this, then you would have found out if she was going somewhere. Because she's going to tell you anyway, right? Do y'all understand that, chat? How if you just get to your point, it already answers with the question you would have asked. You don't even have to ask the question. You don't even have to ask. She would have told you, oh, I'm going somewhere today. I don't know if I can go late, late. How about, this is where you say, how about eight o'clock? You says, what time, you say, what time can you go? I don't think I can at all, to be honest. My mom has work. All right. Yo, hey, my bad. I fell asleep. You good? What is something you'll be doing, you'll like doing with me? Never in life, never, never, ever ask a woman this question. You know why? Because you can make anything she does with you fun. You can make anything she does with you enjoyable, bro. This is why it's important. Stop trying to use the date to impress her. Make up a date of something you enjoy. And then if she enjoys what you enjoy, then y'all have a mutual interest. If she's never did what you enjoyed, then now you just show her something new. If she doesn't want to enjoy what you enjoy, then leave it alone and y'all don't have nothing in common. Plan it based on your interests. Guess what also happens too? If I do something I enjoy, guess what I'm doing? Instead of trying to impress her, I'm inviting her into my world. I'm showing her how I think. I'm showing her what I like. I'm showing her my perspective. Now she's having fun just based off of my energy because I'm already enjoying myself. I enjoy my own company. I enjoy what I'm doing. Now she could piggyback on that vibe, on that wave of energy. She ain't got to, I don't have to force somewhere I don't want to be trying to spend time beating around a bush. Do something you enjoy. And she's not telling, you know how it's like, chat, you know how somebody giving a speech and they so passionate, you just become interested, even if it's some topic you don't even fucking care about, bro. It could be some shit you don't care about, but they so passionate, you like, wow. Like, you just sit and listen. It's the same shit with a good experience. Like, you showing her something, you invite her into your world, bro. But you asking this is so boring. Like, what is something you'll like doing with me? What do you mean? Like, that's what I mean. Like, just like something, you know, or you go so. How does it get this bad? Like, that's what I mean. Just like something, you know, or go somewhere. Anything you'll like doing with me. Mm, like anything for cute holiday things. My father was at my training right now. Like what holiday things? Another question. Another question. Oh, brother. This guy stinks. Now, pop quiz question. Can't fail the test chat. If, if you had to guess, gun to her head, we asked her, how do you feel about Clerk? Is this the guy's name? How do you feel about Clerk? What do we think from this conversation? He's boring. He's dry. He's cool. He's okay. I don't, I don't think. My best bet, I don't, know all, I don't know it all. I don't have the answers for everything. But I do not think she would say, wow, he's interesting. He, he's intriguing. He makes me curious. I, I just will probably bet a good amount of money and feel safe I wouldn't lose that money if I would have to bet on that. If you ask me to put some money somewhere, I'm not betting on that. Weird ghost. Weird ghost? If you was uninterested, you could have said that. Sassy. You the sassy niggas woman complain about. Right here. Right oh my here. god, corny, <laughs> lame, boo, tomato, 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 I'm throwing tomatoes. We out in this as men, stop doing this. Dog, if you was uninterested, you could have said that. Come here, buddy. 
me tell you a secret. <laughs> when she didn't text you back, what did you thought that meant? What did that say? How about the silence was loud? The, the silence wasn't loud enough, chat? Chat, did anybody hear what the silence said? Because I heard what the silence said, right? The silence was loud, right? He said, if you thought, if you was uninterested, you could have said that. Brother, the silence said a lot. <laughs> I don't even have my phone at the moment. On a scale of one to that never fucking happened, I, gu I guarantee that's a, a scale of never happened, bro. Be for real. And you probably ate that up, didn't you? You you asked a dumb ass question. Y'all, the jokes write themselves. I'm not laughing, but I'm laughing, bro. I'm not laughing, but I'm laughing. Ain't like that at all, Lamel. Then then how you just respond to my text? Be honest. Yo, I'm scared for her, bro. I think you would actually like grab her arm in real life. Like I think you would press her. I'm laughing, but I'm not laughing, bro. Like that's the energy you giving me, bro. Chat, am I am I being crazy or, or let me know? Like, I think you would literally, like, grab her and be like, if you don't want me, just say that. <laughs> Calm down, bro. She don't, nobody owes you anything in this world, bro. Nobody has to like you. Nobody has to respect you. Nobody has to agree with you. Be yourself and love yourself, man. I feel like I can't even be honest with you. You might shoot up to school or something, man. Like, brother, please just relax, okay? It's okay. It's okay. She didn't deserve you, king. <laughs> she didn't deserve you, King. You scaring the hoes, man. You scaring the hoes. Like this is crazy. Why are you mad? That's it, right? Be honest. Nigga said, be honest. Like, do you want her pity? <laughs> Fine, clerk. I don't like you. And you probably would have still got mad. But like I said, more of the story is take the lead, set the tone. You keep asking a million questions. Invite her in the world. Show her what it's like to spend time with you. Give her an opportunity to enjoy a date she's never had before. Bro, listen, let me tell you something, bro. A chick could literally, I'm going to give a random example. A chick could literally hate anime, bro. Or, 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 or I never tried a food before and you take her to your favorite restaurant. And that's an opportunity for her to enjoy being in your world. I don't think a lot of y'all live enough. Let me give you an example of my world. I can literally invite a chick into my world. I say she come over my crib, right? All these instruments around. Bro, I'm playing my instruments. I'm talking about my passion and interest in music. I'm talking about the purpose of me creating content. You just become more interesting the more you apply yourself in life, bro. Your goals, your, your the shit you learn and the shit you could teach her. This is more interesting than uh, uh, um, some shit that she can expect. That's way more interesting than what she can expect a guy to do. Way more interesting, bro. Now, are the ads running? Are the ads running, chat? Exactly. Before me and the girl started dating, I loved going to the beach at night, practice playing my ukulele. Me and girl's first day, I took her to the beach, practice my ukulele. It's it's been six months and she still talks about our first date and how it's something she never experienced something like that before. All I did is just chop it up with her while I practice playing my. But listen, chat, you don't even need to play an instrument. It's not even about that. I just started my first time playing guitar and really sticking with it was last August. Before that, any other example could have been. I like to go on I like to go on nature walks. I love I love enjoying a good movie. And then even then, even if it's not a, us physically meeting up yet, right? She going to tell where my interest is at and what, what how I think as a man because when we get on the phone and the, and the topics we talk about and how the conversation flow, she can tell what you're about, like how you think, what you what your sense of humor is like. Y'all need to learn yourselves a little bit more for y'all start dating because a lot of y'all just run out of shit to say and run out of shit to do because y'all don't know what y'all like. You don't know what you enjoy. You don't even have any interests or, or passions or, or different things you're curious about. 
She could be put on. I'm telling you this. Maybe controversial, but it just is my beliefs. Man, man, a man is like the sun, and a woman is like the moon. She's going to reflect whatever he pours into her. I said this before, and my point of that is, dog. When a woman genuinely like a dude, she damn near is a mirror of him. She's a reflection of him. That's how women get. They throw their whole identity away, bro. It's crazy. She go with a dude and never even care about. Um, let's just take computer science. With a dude and then start fucking researching that shit and, 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 and being caught up with, or it could be cars. You could be a car guy. She fuck with you and she hang around you enough. She gonna care about cars. Oh, it's, it's a manual. What is a manual? What do that mean? Can you teach me? What kind of car is that? Oh no, this is that vintage. You could be a weirdo, bro. You could literally be a weirdo. Oh my god, you see that car right there, babe? That's that's the AMG GT. Oh my god. And she going to listen to you, bro. They become sponges. But this is more interesting than guess what? What's your favorite color? How was work today? What's your job like? Now, not something. This nigga say, hey, Dodge is going all electric. I, 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 don't, I, I, I don't know how to describe it because, yes, some things can be boring. But, like, I'm just saying, bro, like, I, I don't know how to describe it because you don't want what you don't want to do is. Did you know that? The human nucleus is comprised of like you don't want to be that guy but let it be interesting you know what i'm saying because <laughs> when he said that sentence i'm like wait that was boring as shit they love passion that's the importance germany is crazy <clears throat> no for real germany is different I, that looked like a demon i could tell just from that abby just from that profile picture <clears throat> no for real germany is different i'm saying though why we gotta let ships sink because we can't get right we gotta keep moving definitely gotta keep going my ship always sells. But if someone don't put the effort in, I'm letting them sink. You believe in second chances? Yes, but not everyone deserves them. Okay, I'ma let you cook. Chat, split path, split path. How do we feel about, do you believe in second chances? I don't know where he's going with it. So I'm not going, blank. I'm not going to judge it. But if I'm judging the book by his cover, I personally don't like the direction this is. it looks like this is about to go in. Because when she gave you this, these three sentences right here, it's a lot of different places you could have took it. You might be cooking, though. You might cook. I don't know. I ain't going to judge a book by its cover. Let's see, though. Yes, but not everyone deserves them. You disrespect yourself letting people get off. It depends on the situation now, huh? If you know better, do better type shit. Definitely. We are too old to not think before doing something. Not for sure. You ever regret cutting people off? You had to cut off. See, this is what I'm saying, chat. This is what I'm saying. This right here could have been him applying pressure. These, these three messages could have spun off into him applying pressure. This turned into chatting. Not for sure. You ever regret? Like, where are we going, bro? Where are we going? Let me tell you the biggest difference between applying pressure and chatting. Make the connection. Where's the connection between you and her? Why are we talking about what she does in general? Why are we talking about, do you ever regret and cutting people off or you had to cut off? Like we talking too generalized. It's about everybody and not us. You could have easily made a connection here. A joke. You could have said, aye, aye, captain. <laughs> and sent that phone number. Or you could have sent, uh, you know, I don't even, I don't know what your sense of humor like, bro. I don't know your personality, bro. But you could have easily connected this between you and her in, in 10 million different ways. I'm Joe, I'm a little Joe, so I'm a, you know, I, I captain sent my number. She would've, know what the, she would've knew what that meant. <laughs> but you could also be like, <clears throat> if we look at this chat, what are we cooking from this, bro? Uh, let's, I'm, I'm gonna come in two to other different angles, right? Definitely gotta keep going. What was before this? Why we gotta let the ship sink? Blah, 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 uh, my ship always sells. Some try hard shit, bro. You can even add something about you know, her ship selling to, to you. To, lend, lend, I don't know. That, that just seemed like some two-charge shit. I like what I said. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get my ticket. You could say something like, I, I need a ticket to hop on that. Like, I don't know. You could cook so many different things, bro. But why are we asking about second chances? For who? For who? For who? Even you can go out. Well, I hope I enjoy the ride. 
Some like you got I, sometimes shit just come to me better when I like what I'm doing and I like the chick or I got the game, whatever the situation is, whatever. To me, I'm looking at you say second chances. I'm not seeing a lot of potential here. Lo and behold, I end up being correct. Cause now where do we go from here? Yeah, but if I did, it was most likely for a good reason. I forgive, never forget, but I have been on cutting ties. Why you ask? You regret cutting someone off? I don't regret nothing. Anything that afflicted me was ultimately meant for my good. Like, cause now that give me a chance to be like, okay, I expect that. Cool. Okay, now she's gonna know how you think. Okay, whatever, right? Left on scene. Oh my God, this is worse. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you why I said this is worse. He started. This is flirting right here. This is this is flirting. How do we go from flirting to a life lesson? How? Why, bro? You watch my content. Why don't you say DCU? Why don't you say DCU here, the Crib University? Oh my God, I would have never had to say anything about all I, I, Captain, all aboard. Let me get my ticket. Fuck all that, nigga. What? This was already secure off the first two messages. You had it off the first two messages. Straight like that, out the country, huh? Where you want to go? The sub just made me happy again. Yo, I'm fuck with a boy. I appreciate the 15 months. I'm about to lose my shit. The sub just... is drowning. He does. drowning. The sub just made me happy again, bro. I'm about to lose my shit. Why do we answer a question with a question? She puts the ball in your court, asks you to lead, and you answer it with a question. Why do we answer a question with a question? She tells you she'll go wherever you want her to go and you end up on scene. How do y'all do this? How do y'all do this? This is bad game. This ain't no game. This is bad game. How, yo, chat, we keep watching dudes. I'm tired of y'all saying, Todd, I just can't have no successful woman. I'm a virgin. I, I just, no matter what I do and try, just y'all literally be having opportunities. I'm thinking y'all left on scene. Every time y'all pressure a woman, y'all get rejected. Y'all not getting phone numbers. Y'all just can't get the opportunities off the ground. That's what's happening. Y'all literally are getting opportunities. Flag on the fucking play, man. Flag, y'all, flag on the play, man. Bro, this would have been secure in the first two sentences with me. I would have told her DCU. And she'd be like, where's that? The Crib University. Your ticket will be arriving shortly. <laughs> it's not wrong with being playful, bro. And and then and then, right? I'd let her respond to that ticket thing, or maybe I wouldn't have. I would have put the number. I'd have been here's your. I would have been like here's your tracking. Here's your tracking number, and it would have been my phone number, bro. I just thought of that off the top of my head, bro. But that that matches the situation, bro. Chat, tell me that shit don't match, bro. That matches, right? I'll be your tour guide on the tour, on the fucking cruise, nigga. Why we can't play? Have fun with this shit, bro. Like, have fun with this shit. We we answer her question with a question. Yes, Italy, Paris, Germany, any of those sound amazing. London, Europe for sure. Then fly to Africa, eat fruit off the trees. Nigga, I want her to eat my suck my balls off the off the dick, bro. What are we talking about this for? What are we talking about, bro? What are we talking about, bro? We, like y'all making me mad, bro. It's Twitch after hours, bro. I'm going there, bro. We talking about eating fruit off the trees. Ooh, ooh, ah, like we, we 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 come on, Caesar. Come on, Caesar. Planet of the Apes. Come on, bro. <sighs> Why y'all look look at this? These are old tie. Ended up cutting her after I peeped some. You cut her. You cut her. She she she, she should have cut you some slack. <laughs> she should have you should have cut your losses, buddy. <laughs> Cause it don't look like you cut her. I don't. I'm not seeing it. I'm not. I'm not seeing it, bro. <laughs> I'm not seeing it.